my unboxing video, pictures video and video views video that I did yesterday of the XDA Executive Smartphone. Okay? As you may know, if you have seen them, that um, <coughs> I bought it, the seller forgot off eBay. Seller forgot to put the battery in. Long story, got the battery today. Um, taking ages to charge, it doesn't charge while well. you're, you're using it for some reason, it just drains the battery when you use it and then you have to charge it, uh, just a long story. Anyway, what I'm talking to you about today is um, it's only available when you're on contract, don't sell it anymore then. Um, but there is no uh, O2, won't give you any pay as you go um, settings for MMS or internet or anything. And if you find them on the internet, some of them just tell you the settings, but not how to put them on. Uh, it's all ignore, okay? But I found settings, and they are working. And um, today, this video, is just going to be showing you how to actually put those settings on and what you need to do. So, just pick up my camera. Right, you've got your today screen. So, to put in the settings, excuse me a moment, so to put in the settings you need to click start. Then need to click on settings. Then need to click this little tab down here. Sorry about the video quality not being very good. That the, the tab says connections. Then you need to click on the connections icon which is this one here. Okay, and it will load. And you'll have it so it says there my work network you will have one that says my IPSW and then underneath you'll have my work network so what you need to do is first you need to just click advanced click select network programs that automatically connect to the internet should connect using and then you need to click the down arrow and select my work network and then click OK and then once you click back onto tasks you'll have just my work network there. Now you must do that because otherwise you're going to put these settings in in a minute and it will still not work because it's trying to connect using the IPSW settings. So you must do that first. Okay. Now I will put all of this in the description but um, I'm going to show you as well. So in tasks once you've done that so just going to click manage in, manage existing connections. Okay. And you'll make, you'll probably have one or two there, but if you do, don't that doesn't matter. What you need to do if you do have one there is you need to take your pen, press and hold on it, and then click the little top one there that says delete. Okay. Now I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So then once you click delete you'll need to click new here in the bottom corner okay? and you'll get a page up that looks something like this asking you for enter a name of your connection and select a modem in the name tab you need to enter GPRS in caps lock so that's capital G capital P capital R capital S space lowercase WAP that's lowercase w, lowercase a, lowercase p. So it should look like that. Okay, I'll put it like that in the description for you, but is, is it like that going to be in the description? Yeah, well, I'll put it like that in the description for you. Okay. So. Excuse me a second. Yeah, right, yeah, that's what you need to do. I will put that in the description. Okay, then where it says select a modem, you need to press the down arrow and select the one that says cellular line bracket GPRS comma 3G. Now there's cellular line there and then there's one with bracket GPRS comma 3G next to it. You need the one that says GPRS 3G. You must have that. Okay, and click next in the corner here. It will then ask you for access point name. So that is pay and go o2 .co uk. I'll put that in the description as well. Now the username pay and go. The password is password. Now I know my password does look look longer there, 
that's because you'll find that when you put it in you put in password the word password but um, once you've actually clicked OK it will change it to a big long password like that that's good that's what you want to do so once you've filled in leave the domain name blank I know there's a star there but that but the star as if you look if provided by IPSW or network administrator so leave domain empty you then need to click advanced you need to make sure you've got it use server assigned IP address click server at the bottom make sure it's use server assigned address then click OK then click finish OK now it says G then you may get uh, if you've yeah you won't get this message up because what you will have done is you will have just um, made a new one so you won't get that up but mine's in use and mine's what well, I've I've just clicked edit instead of new click on it to show you how it was put in instead of putting it in again but you'd click new so you wouldn't get that pop-up message in. anyway once you've clicked finish you need to click on proxy settings at the bottom here once you've done that you need to make sure that the two lines here both of these boxes are ticked that's this network connect to internet that needs to be ticked and this network can use a proxy server to connect to the internet make sure that's ticked you then need to click on advanced and then you need to click on WAP WAP now in the server box uh, you need to type in 193.113.200.195 again that's in the description uh, and then in the port you need in the port field next to it you need to click uh, 9201 the username password and domain needs to be left blank okay and then just click ok 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 wait for the circle to go you get this up click ok and click exit okay so I will put that in the description so that's your internet settings done and I'll prove that's worked as you can see my Wi-Fi is switched off so I'm just going to go and load a web page so as you can see it comes up with connecting and it's connected and now it's just locating new web address okay so that works right so that's the internet settings and then for MMS settings you need to go start and messaging if it's not there then you need to go programs messaging to click menu MMS configuration servers click new and you're going to type in the name as O2 MMS gateway 193.113.200.105 Port number was 9201. Server address www.http colon slash slash mmsc.mms.02.co.uk8002. Connect via work network and then just click OK. And then you need to highlight over it and click set as default. You can then delete any others that are there once you set that as default then click OK and exit. And that's it, you're done. Any questions, any problems, email me via YouTube or at iPhone Tech for You dot No, sorry, iPhone Tech for You at AOL.co.uk. Alright? Bye.